And see, they have not beaten them in five months. Is today the day, Trent? Are they going to do it? Ah, uh, that is the question. A best of five. Can you do it in the toughest of series? Where you truly must outwit and outplay your opponent, both in the draft and in the game. That's what we're here to find out. And have they done it here? We, uh, we have a, a C classic of the Ooh. Magnus and the Slark. Whenever I see this duo, I think of Faceless and how they, they dominated the region for, for quite a while on that team with that combination. And uh, nice to see it making a return. But now the Morphling has also shifted hands to Dream Cell here as we get into the game. Absolutely. Time is nigh as we are ready to roll into this one. Uh, should mention, too, that the last time they beat it was also a Hide Tusk that uh, that sort of led them to victory. Oh. Boom. There you go. That's what they call it. Um, but TNC also, as you mentioned, looking good. <laughs> Slark Mag going to be really strong going into the late game. You had kind of had some ideas that maybe Boom would take a Chen as the last pick overall. They instead decide to go for the FBZ Profit. Do you like the pick? Wow. Yeah, I think uh, what I like was that they ended up with just a lot of different options at the end. Uh, they kind of got the feel out what TNC were doing. Like maybe if they felt like they could get one of these Chen punishes again, like we saw uh, earlier in the tournament, they could just like run this game down. I kind of thought they might try and cheese it because I, I see the tusks. I'm always saying with that Chen combo uh, that we used to see, but hmm. uh, yeah, they they just saw like the profit being available, and because they could have even like flexed this pango to the off lane, could have picked a mid for Makoto, but. Uh, assuming that it was going to be a melee matchup, either the Meg or the Void Spirit, they do give it to Makoto. And he will indeed be facing off versus RML in the mid lane. So uh, Makoto, once again, has been given the reins of the game. And he came through last match with the Drow being down in the laning stage. There was a lot of pressure on Makoto in those first couple fights to make the plays. Uh, and he succeeded. And now he's the one who's going to be initiating alongside this Nature's Prophet and Tusk across the map while the Morph and the Ava tend to play a little bit more passive to begin. And that's going to be the big deciding factor that I feel like we so often see is can space be made by those other four heroes in the early goings of it? Uh, Slark, you know, not necessarily incapable of showing up to the fights on the side of TNC, but much less likely to as well. So both him and Gabby will most likely, uh, both him and Dream Cell rather, will most wow. likely be heading out trying to get that farm on whilst the other engagements are happening. Um, and I'm I'm curious to see if, if they like try and make some early moves with FBZ and try and just shut this game out early, you know? Get some towers, uh, find themselves kills, constrict the farm that TNC is able to get on the map. I will say I feel pretty confident about TNC's lineup though. I really yeah. like their heroes. I think they have a little, little bit easier path to like aggression in the early game. Uh, and that, that's why I think there's a lot of pressure on Makoto too, because the, the way and the times at which he chooses to use the Rolling Thunder, I think are going to dictate a lot of these early game fights, because that is one thing that can just do a uh, ridiculous amount of work versus these heroes, right? Uh, maybe that chain stun is exactly what you need to bring down KP or Tim is before they can get away. But without that Rolling Thunder chain stun, they don't really have a lot of lockdown before the FBZ Orchid. Right, and that is going to be the other big timing that they look for there. Uh, and we'll see what Makoto is able to do. I mean, as you kind of mentioned, I think earlier as well, like Armel's not likely to make moves on this mag. So he's probably just going to be sitting in this lane or stacking up jungle or taking out camps or whatever. Uh, and then Makoto going to be the one that has to roll around and uh, get some stuff done. As we've said, March going to try and go for a little bit of a disruption. Make sure there's no pull potential. Trying to get really the good Oh, and he got one of the range creeps. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. No, I uh, was very excited. But March has uh, done a really good job of just like timing that constantly. In that case, it obviously doesn't work, but he's always there and ready to try and interrupt that pull and uh, at least make it so it's not the full wave. Unfortunately, as a Venomancer, he can't just like grab the uh, the range group and run it back to the wave and Hyde even gets the deny. Very well done by him. So he wins this battle versus March, that's for sure. Definitely. It's early engagements, all those little things, they make a difference as the game goes later. And you can see down bottom, Tim's forcing back Kez Cute and Dream of Cell. 
Uh, this is always another interesting little dynamic, right? Morphling, very good at last hitting, but through those first couple of waves, having that falling blade, uh, it should be able to have a pretty good time on KP. And he's got four denies now and only eight last hits for poor old Morph. Yeah, and uh, it was one thing to flare the morph at one HP behind the tower when he's regening, but can Tim's hit an arrow? That oh. would be the true test. <laughs> I like it. I, want to I really it. hope not. That seems impossible. <laughs> so let's, let's assume Dream of Spell will be just fine. True, true. Um, we haven't talked much about as they get the pullback on the Dream of Cell. Uh, the mid matchup, but it is uh, always tough going up against the Magnus when he has that like early in power just to keep farming up as Tim's is going to make the rotation over and get a stack off on the ancient. Gets the bottle. Moving in. Arrow yeah. afterwards. Whoa. Oh, that was sick. Dude, the pull in with the shockwave. I actually turned away from my monitor when that hit. That was so gross. Dude. That that actually put that physically made me cringe how good that play was. I was just like, oh wow. god, you're so bad with that pango. Yo. Oh, because I was wondering, like, why why is he walking that rune? I'm sure he was thinking the same thing. He's like, oh, yeah. this is free. Like, I'm, I'm going to be able to, like, I'm going to have so much time to right click RML. Like, he's gone here way too early. This is so good for me. And then you just get arrowed. <laughs> well, and not only just get arrowed, but shockwave to pull him into the arrow. Like, yeah. like what the hell? That was, that was really too sick. good. March in some trouble, though. Uh, and Hyde will be able to get the return kill. That that timing, too, because you always were talking about, like, the four-minute rotation for runes. Tim stacks the Ancient and sets up for a kill for Armel. Did Tim's and Armel, the dynamic duo. Uh, that is the value play. The fact that he, the Ancients are stacked, too. But uh, Keski, he will fire back. He's going to get in there and get this rune. Uh, potentially three here by the looks of it as FPZ is even thinking about TPing right to the rune. But I think, uh, oh, okay, yeah, he's going to finish it with it. I will <laughs> say go for it. This is almost get out of there, fun. buddy. Well, so far, pretty high play there mid, but back at it for Pango. Farming away and should be perfectly fine now. Uh, does get that level six pretty soon here. They're pull in and the disarm comes out and he's going to get a few denies along the way as well. Perfectly fine. Wow! I could try a play here if they push this lane in with the level six, but then there's always just skewer too, so it's hard to like control with the ice shards. I'll see the skewer and then bring the tower. It goes to the RP with the tower damage as well. Yes. Oh, oh trying to bring him skate. down, Makoto! <laughs> Yet again. I don't know, man. This is, this is a tough one. Yeah, and he's the one who's in charge here. Oh, this guy their has team. No wow! Radiance, mid but uh, two no kills and yeah, no, no chills as Makoto. All right. Well, we'll High see spirits. how they end up doing. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping it light and breezy. Easy breezy. Radiance courier. DD for Mag. Killed. Courier. Well, courier perhaps, and that is oh. the orbit mass. That's all you're oh, saying. God. I mean, I mean, it's not too bad in this lane, but he could just be at like free full HP all the time without that. And Tim's right. instantly arrows that catapult, even though it was definitely fine. <laughs> the full wave copy there. KB's like, mm -hmm. Don't worry. Pull back in again. Bunch of heroes rotating top. Tim's and March are there, and they're forcing back the Nature's Prophet. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I want to see uh, if if they do try and rotate early on with FBZ to sort of take one of those towers. Um, or I guess that you would probably just bring Makoto to his lane. I'm not even sure. Because it doesn't feel super easy to kill Gabby either. He's got level six now. Like, where, where do you kill? Dyer's middle tower. Ah, uh, that's a great question. Doesn't really feel like you can, huh? No. And Hyde, he might be the one getting killed. Cool. I get the one dodge. Nice, nice. And the uh, Vendo did not chase. Uh, March just yeah. went right back on top. Decision. All right. So the movement in towards mid from Hyde now. Does have shards up again soon, but look at how much damage Armel just spams out there. Gustin. The other thing is they're still really weak on damage before the Orchid. Right. Like, let's say that he starts the pango roll and then they like stun him once, throw the shards in at the same time. So you just like combo stun him the whole time mm -hmm. through or whatever for the shard duration. It, it won't even matter. Like, it won't die. Yeah. Unless they can chain silence him with the, uh, the lucky shot. So in the meantime, moving over for another room. This one's going to spawn up top. 
Koto able to get it. Whoa, RML just hard kill. kill. And Gez cute. He's just dead. Uh, you don't, don't get that many opportunities for kills of the RP early on, especially after you're out of like that 1v1 instant level 6 laning stage. So he just takes it. Yeah. He says, look, I'm going to be farming. Hey, I'm busy. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And with Dyer's that, stacking up, or rather just trying to farm up these ancients a little bit for Armel. Uh, we'll see if he does decide to go for it or not. But yeah, he's just going to go back and farm them up. Fine and dandy. Boom, in the meantime, do rotate top, and they're going to try and take this tower. Uh, as it does not appear like TNC are going to try and mount a defense. Yeah, they're just trying to build some echo savers right now. So this is what they do. They don't kill people. They kill some towers. Wow! That arrow almost caught. <laughs> just hell. Feeling very good. He was able to TP out of there. Yeah, and Mag, God, he is so freaking farmed right now. After finishing off that ancient stack, he's 1,400 gold ahead of the next highest, and he's about to farm up some more ancients in a moment. His here. echo's done in yeah, like 100 gold. What the hell? Radiant's bottom tower is under what? attack. He's gonna have a yeah. 10 minute Treads Bracer Echo. He is, uh, he is super duper farmed. Um, oh Room Handle God. picked up along with the, the jelly. But Makoto, I don't know, man. I I, I feel like the, the, the early Radiant's start that they're getting right now from TNC is, is just really, really strong. And 928, he bought it, dude. 928. <laughs> yeah. Top what? Top is Armel is, uh, Armel's made some plays this game. And then, of course, the help from Tim's simultaneously setting up kills for him and then also making sure he's stacking ancients. And that also is setting up Marana to have a good game as well. Three minutes faster than average. Radiant's yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> that, that's nuts for a first <laughs> item. Yeah. Definitely. Like, that's gross. Indecent Radiance even. Middle tower is under attack. You can just cut up this wave again, waiting for somebody oh, he, to move into position. Easy. You want someone better than this, though. Uh, I mean, there. He's just going to kill him without even using the RP. And, uh, and nobody can come up here with the haste run. They're going to get this tower. tower. Under attack. Yeah, yeah. Radiant structure. You can't contest this. It's a lot better than just that little dinky push they had up top, huh? Dude, there's no way you can in. contest this. The, well, movement. He's hunting, trying to find it. Kills off Momono. The Nature's Prop was able to get out of there. Are they really going to try and fight this? Armel, he still has RP available just outside of range and pulls him in and jumps for the kill. Wow! Remo Cell will die. Hide also trouble. I mean, now without RP, they might be able to contest. And you can see TNC backs out immediately afterwards. Damn, dude. He's almost got, he's a thousand gold from Blink. The uh, lack of detection is killing them there, huh? Yeah. No sentry down that whole area. I, yeah, okay. this is one of the most far mags I have ever seen. This is like a rise in a pub level, Magnus. Radiant's bottom yeah. tower is under attack. Pushing out that bottom wave very quickly and every move he makes now. It's just going to keep it going. Now, you, this could just be one of those things, too. Oh, where he's sort of, he's, they're thinking about going on. Him. Yeah, KV's pinging. Yeah. Is it a bait? All an elaborate bait. Guess cute's nearby, but no, it doesn't look like it. He walks over and he's like, oh, my goodness. There's uh, three <laughs> heroes up there, friend. <laughs> Back away. Don't be here anymore. Armel is a monster. It's a 3,000 gold lead. I, I was going to say, though, that this could be one of those things where when one hero is so ridiculously farmed themselves, it just turns into a pinata of gold. Uh, so they have to play it safe on TNC still, I think. If he, like, screws up a blank, yeah. It just goes, like, way too aggressive or something. As we have the Rolling Thunder through, I think that's mostly defensive. So we're yeah. trying to get out of that situation versus the Void Spirit and the Marana. I don't know. For Boom, at least right now, it does not feel like they're getting a lot done around this map. Dire structures um, and again, I don't know how super necessary that is. It feels like it's pretty necessary, but maybe there's something to be said for, well, roll this punch. Radiant Off of Gabby, who's there, but the wraparound is coming. Makoto tries to get the jump away. Ah, Astral Step Chase, arrow off the mark. DNC still playing so fast, and KP under control. KP is going to go down, and now maybe they've overextended. Boom, taking advantage of this moment. Armel, how far forward is he? Can he survive there? Trying to control Gabby, bring him down, but the Shadow Dance is going to get him out. 
As you can see, they do bleed. TNC end up losing two. That was really awkward. Uh, I mean, they finish at the tower, but uh, taking that before the Yules on KP makes it a little bit difficult. Yeah. And uh, you saw that uh, Gavi was holding the uh, the pounce the entire time. I'm not sure if he had the sentry in his inventory or something, too. Like, I, I think he was just scared of the sprout. But there were several opportunities to get like pounce the tusk or something kind of outside on the fight, but he didn't want to go for it. Oh, and they can't catch Gabby. The rollback, though. Maybe a chance? That's no chance. Oh, Damage dead. Well, KP tried to pull it in and disrupt it, but Gabby overextended and they punish again. Kill March. Two dead. Boom. Not willing to go down without a fight. The skewer back is going to be there on the Kezku, but he still the has a ulti. You're not killing this guy that easy. Yeah, yeah they're uh, I feel like they're all as farm design or something. Okay, well, that was a little bit strange all in all there. Uh, just, you know, testing the waters there, seeing how it feels. Hmm. The man Armel's farm. Are scanning. Yeah, every time I look at him, he just has like hundreds more gold. <laughs> he's he's in almost 900 gold again. He yeah. just bought a blink. Yeah, this dude's crazy. He doesn't um, even know what he wants to buy. He's like, wow, it's 14 and a half minutes in, and I'm rich as hell. Level 2 RP. Dream of Cell is up on the high ground. And they just get him. What? That, that was like max range. Yeah, right. That was really like, well played. On. And high that was snowball. Afterwards, wow. they saw him with this ward up there, but they're going to get two. So he, he, they saw him walk to that camp, but I don't think they actually had vision of him when they did that play. But they knew he was going to be there. Really well done. That, I, yeah, I just don't even. That was crazy. That was an unbelievable RP. I mean, he didn't cancel that with how far away the morph was. I was getting worried. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I would have been pumped thinking I'd be like, nope, nope, too far. And I mean, off it. Right now, you look at the two cores: zero two zero for Dreamless Cell, one two two for Makoto. Uh, at least the ones that are supposed to be carrying this game. And um, at some point, I mean, I guess that this is just the strength of like that early stacking and stuff. Uh, but I don't know when it changes exactly. Uh, well, unfortunately, they didn't really get their good moments with the Orchid either. I, I mean, that's not true. They, they did get like a Radiant's couple kills in the middle lane, but they're so tanky on uh, especially Armel, who's like the big breadwinner right now, that he's really hard to target down with FBZ. Now, Gabby, that would be a nice one. I think they saw him. Oh, no. He just dark pack. Uh, roll in. I thought that they saw him, but I guess not. Snowball in. Still silence. Under control. Radiance and they just kill him. Is under attack. So they did not see him. I thought with the night vision, they would have. top tower has fallen. But this is going to be a chill one tower. With the trees. Bottom tower yeah. Is under All right. Big kill. Radiance top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, they're trying for another big kill here. As Dyer's bottom tower. It was head the ward. But he actually saw a dream of cell there. With the, the team, Radiant I guess, so far away, they weren't willing to go by. for it. And what was really good there is that that means they're not going to recheck that sentry. Right. Yeah, that's true. He didn't like just try and go for that. He could have like thrown some ice shards. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no, that was March. March fainted. Oh, no, there's a courier. Yeah, they checked. Oh, no. They didn't see. Didn't see. It was delivering things. Radiant <laughs> wasn't checking. It just happened to fly exactly over it. And they do find KP though, and a quick old jump. They or P pulls back onto two, and that's gonna be a dead Makoto and Hyde likely to fall as well. Chase down is there. There's a couple more punches. Come. Wait, what? Excuse me. Hide. Oh, he's hiding, but can't get out. <laughs> Courier. Still able to get out before the pounce mid. And yeah, uh, again, the story of the game continues to be Magnus, who almost has a BKB at 17 minutes. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> what is Radiant's happening? Is it's attack. done. He can. He has it. He has Blink Echo BKB at 17 and a half minutes. How He's like a PA? How is this happening? A lot of hitting creeps and, uh, and killing eight kills. Yeah. What? I mean, he's on top of the kills and the lassets. Doing it all. Armel's finished. He's done. All right, pack it in, everybody. I hadn't Gabby yeah. goes down again. 
a little unfortunate there as the Slark has been cut out a couple of times. Yeah, he was under the rainy vision. He, he got um, Halber, or, um, orchided mm. and then just into uh, Pango. Gotcha. So they're still keeping it somewhat close amongst they Boom. Saw, yeah, they saw him uh, dark back under the ward. That's what happened. Got it. And then just TP and kill them. Yeah. Well, uh, as you're saying, just a 2,000 gold lead at this point. And that is going to be a pretty nice pickup there as well. The uh, Pupil's Gift is always really fancy. Odo uh, has Diffusal Blade done and looks like he's going to be going back for that Halberd again, as you were mentioning. So he at least is going to be able to, like, help later on. And I will say that, you know, the, at least Magnus has been nerfed where the... the um, yeah, seriously. The Empower no longer does, like, the full double damage or whatever it was. Still, though. Yeah. yeah he's hitting very hard. All right. It is 20 minutes in, so now we do start to think about discussions of Roche and how that's going to impact this game. They still don't have their big hitter in Dream of Cell, but that can shift with the E-Blade. Even if he is a little bit behind gold wise, maybe he'll just find that one big blow up. Could be onto something as simple as March so that he can't get the ulti off to help them during right. the team fight to basically make it a 5v4. Uh, won't be RML though. He, he is not going to get blown up. No, he's got almost 3000 HP uh, and at, at 10 20 armor. minutes. Yeah. Radiant's I really don't know how you deal with this guy. Attack. Like, Morphling, I feel like the damage caps out so early, at least if it's like E-Blade and stuff. That's just bumpy. They need like Ags on Makoto and like Maelstrom or I don't even know, just something. They need something. They need five heroes hitting him. Yeah. With an Orchid. That's pretty much the answer. I hope he doesn't beat KB. Killing everybody else first, I guess, as well. But. Meanwhile, Gabby gonna get disarmed, backs away again. FBZ pushes out this top wave. And I think that was the E Blade done for Morph. So Dream Cell can kind of fight these other heroes at least. As they are going to back out and head on into the pit. And they, they do have some tools. They have the tag team, which we haven't really gotten to see too much of because it hasn't been like that much brawling and everything. But that is one part where, you know, the Magnus, maybe he's just caught in the middle of a tag team. Yeah. Maybe they just get uh, shredded by all that bonus damage. Uh, March guards the roaching. Mm -hmm. Dropping down those wards. Armel has the blink dagger available if they want to use it. And got to be very careful on boom. And just like that, FBZ is dead. Okay. Very careful. <laughs> that, that was not very careful. Uh, Boom have to be, well, I'm not going to say very careful again, but they got to run. Jeez. Radiance they wonder they can just back out and go get Roche again now. TNC looking so solid in this game. Uh, no, I almost feel like they have to fight this. Under attack. Yeah. And they have buyback and TP, but they probably think that they're not going to get there in time because they could have just been roasting the entire time. No, they're smoking. Even though they're back in there now. Oh, okay. Oh, but run? look at this interruption by KP. Oh my god, and the Dissimilate run away. The Yule Scepter afterwards. Can they bring him down? They do get the Walrus Punch and the Beatdown, so he falls. Aegis now onto Gabby as TNC trying to run down this lane, but a haste strewn, and I think we we'll get out with this now. Yeah, and I really like the decision to put it on Gabby. I mean, it's, it's the obvious one because he's like the guy who's like really aggressive, but just the fact that he's poorer too, I think helps a lot because I, uh, as we've pointed out several times, I don't think they can kill Aramel the first time anyway. No. Unless everyone else is dead and thus give the Aegis to someone else. Absolutely. Gabby is going to have uh, Scotty done pretty soon here as well. And that is the, the morph killer too. Right. That's where this game gets really difficult and uh, potentially getting the Agonims, which is also very good versus uh, the Pango and the Tusk and the Morphling. That mm. leash is insane value. Yeah. Top side, trying to get him, but Shadow Blade away. And they will be fine to get out of there as well. I mean, you just have to dodge at this point if you're boom. Like there's yeah. way too much. 
Yeah, unfortunately they have uh, two supports that also aren't very good at wave clear. Right. Yeah, the, the ABBA and the Tusk really lacking in this instance. Uh, oh. Maybe when Tide gets more points in the snowball. I mean, he can also at least like defend towers. He can like throw out the ice shards, pull the wave off, and also gives you a little bit of a defensive buffer. Yeah. Doesn't help as much when they're going high ground, but at least for now, <laughs> it's, uh, it's something. And Makoto, is he going to get caught here? Gabby not opting to go on to him. So Makoto kills the wave. It's going to stick around that bottom side of the map. And TNC, it looks like they just want to play the sort of surround game. Um, it is against the Nature's Prophet, so he at least is going to be able to head out on the other side of the map and farm away. Uh, but they're able to keep the rest of them kind of stuck in one particular spot. Yeah, and he's got Treant up top pushing in while he's on the opposite side getting some wards down. Dyer's looking for couriers, farming the jungle. Oh, there's the Vandal Courier. Dyer's courier has been and killed. gets one. Does he Dyer's get two? Courier has hello, been hello. Killed. Yep, gets two. <laughs> and TP's out. <laughs> Perfectly fine for FBZ. There is a big smoke up now. And Moonlight Shadow afterwards. They're going to be underneath a ward as it breaks. Kezcute turns back around. And that is not the kill that they wanted. Four staff away, trying to live. Kezcute still going to end up getting that ulti pop. Armel pulls him back in. TNC going to bring him back down. Oh, so godlike Armel here. 25 minutes with almost an AC Radiance done on top of everything else. But you can see Boom just don't feel like they want to fight at all. And you can't blame them. Yeah, I mean, right now, if you're TNC, you want to play this really clean. They still don't have a huge lead. Because the Morph and the Pango are quite a Dyer's bit ahead of KP, tower. so that's uh, shortening this gap despite what Armel has is up top. They will get FPZ wow. though. Yeah, Brute is there. They got him caught and dead. So and those little kills to me that? feel like it's somewhat acceptable as long as your other cores are farming, which they are. As long as the waves elsewhere are pushed, but look what they're doing with Armel. Oh, that was a bit of a risky one. I mean, I guess he has the BKB. Until Basher on Pango, they still can't deal. Oh, I get that Walrus punch and blink, so. For me. Yeah. Something. This Tide gotten so much money. I mean, it's not like a ton, but. I don't know. It's just massive. been performing some alchemy oh. the past couple games. Oh, He's got a stone. stone. Well, I mean, that that's still relatively new, though. Yeah. Like, so pretty smart. Pull back onto Makoto. Takes it off. Aphotic shit run away. Makoto does have roll. He wants to use an E-Blade off to the side. Able to catch onto one. Kezcute's still living through this. Snowball off to the side. They kill off KP as well. What a save. Unbelievable. He got the roll. And now the roll comes back through the other way. Uh, the control is there. They're going to bring down Hyde eventually, but Hyde did his job. Now, switching back into the Void Spirit. Gets the taunt to pull him back in. If they can find this kill, but the stun is there. On FDC, they bring it down. Remo Cell carrying the team here. He is online. Makoto's trying to bring down Tim's afterwards. Switching into this Void Spirit has been an absolute win. As they bring down another, Makoto will end up dying. And Dream of Cell now low on mana. Looks like they will be able to track him down, most likely, as Gabby is on top of it. He does have Radiant's a TP back available, but they're right on top of him. And tries to juke, tries to run away, spots him again. Oh, hey, guys. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Uh, tries to turn it fight, but yeah, he's just dead. Nice. All right, well, he did get the 10x kill streak, so I'll be very curious to see how this shakes down in the uh, the breakdown. So he got a thousand gold total, even with his death cost on the morphling. Uh, but you know what? So did Tim. Actually, he got a little bit more. Tower is under attack. Radiant Here. structures and are fortified. Looking pretty good, but that snowball save at the end. If uh, the Radiance snowball as well. Is under attack. Very, nice Very impressive. Unfortunately, uh, not enough in the end to take the, uh, the full team Radiance fight, but at least they showed that fallen. Armel can in fact lead. Yes. Very important. And slowing down his farm. Um, I, I guess the other thing to sort of be concerned about is I don't know if he had the AC in that last engagement or not, but he definitely has it now. Um, still, though, a lot of that damage came in from Magical side once the BKB had worn off. And catching Gabby, 
Down on the bottom, the snowball is there. Gets the ulti off, but he's gonna get rolled up on. The chase is there. KP moving into the position, trying to find an opening. Armel able to catch. He has the RP if they want to use it. Gabby dropping low area and able to get up just barely. Gabby escapes. The rest of Boom is kind of all spread out now in a weird position. Hyde is getting run down, although they're trying to control now. On to Armel. Good BKB. Oh. And he's still holding that RP. The chase oh, is looking buddy. for it. RP is gonna oh. land. Brings down Dream wow. Cell. Dude, he held that for so long. Makoto gonna be caught. Armel comes in, cleans up afterwards. I'm gonna end FBZ. Radiant's bottom tower. Damn, TNC. Killing it. Top tower is under attack. Oh, buddy. I mean, they're gonna fight it up to the end, but this is gonna be a hefty blow. There's still tier twos. This won't be the end of the game unless they really want to give it up. And, well, Snowball afterwards. Gotta be careful. It's gonna be able to get the blink out. Yeah, as you mentioned. Building's falling. Yeah, so I get the one lane and then probably refresh back for the, uh, the Roche. I don't think it's worth going in here right now with the E blade back, at least not for tier fours and everything. Should just do the bailout, but TNT take a commanding lead in game number five after what looked like a, a glimpse of hope there mm. or boom. And they're even going to try and secure it now with the uh, the remnant true sight as well. So try and get their own vision uh, locked down. Make sure there's no good gank opportunities for boom here. Now um, boom, they do spot KP here. Have blink available with the walrus punch afterwards and March trying to chase. Can't quite get him. Arrow will go out off the mark. Uh, well, Makoto walked back into it. Yeah, that happens. Instant smoke. Who do they find? Not Rose. No. Poker heads in, but give me one second till that's possible. I mean, they have to take advantage of this. RP is on cooldown. Um, they need to make some type of a move. And they have a roll in. But uh, it's too hard. I mean, that's the other problem now, too, is they have Ags on Slark. Like, all right, they just scanned and the entirety of it was red, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the arrow check, so they know they're around. Yeah, the eggs is a brilliant choice. I really like it. Hope, you know, I guess there's uh, the idea he might get punished without having the BKB, but I just think that leash is so valuable this game. Yeah, Makoto, he's going to roll away here as well. And they do have RP available as Makoto still sticking around. I mean, boom, they can't, they can't keep chilling here. They got to run. And they're just gonna get destroyed. Gabby got Chesshute already. Looking for the oh, leash run down. Oh, and the snowball up to the high ground, but in trouble. Armel gonna get that RP off the jump in from Gabby. Skewer him away. Armel's like, these are my kills. Leave me alone. Gabby, you get your own. So they take down three again. The seeds of Man, what an individual performance by Armel. I mean, yes, carried in terms of like the early game, like the stacks and stuff very much helped by his team, but I haven't seen anyone else do this in a game with Meg this patch. No, absolutely To the not. level that he has handled it here. And like consistently good ulties and, uh, and great skewers. Right, and and holding on to him too, not taking the first one that comes to mind as the leash comes up now. Does have Skewer, Manta as well. Tries to pull in the Slark, but Gabby is staying fine. I got my Scotty, man. Chase down comes, tries to jump away. The pounce is gonna be there yet again with the silence, with the kill, snowballing too late. I try to make something out of nothing, but it is not gonna be there. FPZ also in trouble, is pouncing into the fountain. All five dead. And with that, wow. TNC taking a demonstrative lead in this game number five. Oh, that's an allied good game. <laughs> a little bit of one. And they're just hitting the tier fours. Uh, Gabby's like, I'm done with this. Get me out of this one. It's over. Pull in, trying to roll, but they, they don't have the damage. They don't have nearly enough damage. And with this, I think that they're going to take it. TNC just completely dominant. They're going to use the glyph, and GG is going to be called aggressively. Ah, there it is. There it is. Coming in from the side of them. GG is the call. TNC, ladies and gentlemen, are your grand champions.